talk about, lose. <laughs> let's talk about what's coming out on uh, streaming, uh, our streaming platforms. Um, so let's talk about HBO first. Uh, first, we have uh, uh, Desicato. Descato? I don't know. Uh, and then let's talk about what's coming out on Hulu um, for this particular week. Uh, the only thing I jotted down was a, a throwback pick, which was uh, when Harry met Sally. Mm. One of the most or like, or one of the original sort of like rom coms that wasn't like really your typical like rom com. This was, was Meg very, Ryan and Tom Hanks, right? You keep saying that every time I say when Harry met Sally. Um, uh, no, the, when Am Harry I just met Sally, up white women. Uh, I guess uh, this was uh, Woody Allen as well as um, no wait when Harry met Sally. Am, Am I, I thinking, thinking about, about Sleepless in Seattle? I think you are. Yeah, because yeah. you, you, you think about all those sort of in the same sort of breath. When Harry met Sally was so when Harry met Sally was Billy Crystal, Billy Crystal and Meg no, Ryan. so Meg it had Meg yeah, Ryan, motherfucker. Meg Don't Ryan. try to I'm make sorry. me see. I, like... I thought this was the the Woody Allen movie, which was not that. It was <laughs> is that Manhattan? Um, no, that wasn't Manhattan. That was uh. Fuck, I forget what that movie was. Yeah, but. look at you, wrong as fuck. I was, yeah, yeah. Jeez. No, okay, you weren't correct either. <laughs> no, said, I, I knew it was Tom Meg Hanks. Ryan. I yeah. thought it was Tom Hanks, but no, that was wasn't. um, that was Sleepless Sleep, in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle, yeah. as well as uh, You've Got Mail. I was halfway right. You were all the way wrong. <laughs> all right, congratulations. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's stay in this moment for a second. Do you know how good it feels to be halfway right when someone is all the way wrong? It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> not even all the way right just halfway right halfway right yeah i mean because very rarely in our yeah. lives are we all the way right right yeah but we know when someone's all the way wrong F fair enough I, I don't really know i'm just kind of <laughs> going on at this point because i just want to bask in this um but yes right. meg so, ryan as jennifer anderson would say <laughs> oh the the gold standard for for film <laughs> i long for the days of meg ryan <laughs> Uh, so um so but when harry met sally it was actually it was one of like the, the sort of the temples and like one of the most famous scenes from it was the uh was the uh restaurant scene where she essentially fakes an orgasm uh, oh yeah yeah uh and um yeah i just i, I, I fucking love the movie man i i think billy crystal he he did a fantastic job at it as well as meg ryan um they both sort of knocked it out of the park and again it wasn't your conventional sort of rom-com it was it took different winding roads to get to to where they eventually ended up but it it set the uh, template for what was to come uh in, in terms of rom-coms and I, I don't know if too many others have done it quite as well as uh when uh, Harry met Sally. Yeah, uh, I mean, just looking at, again, do I think Meg Ryan is one of the greatest actresses of all time? No. But she's got some heavy fucking hitters under her belt. I mean, when Harry met Sally, you've got male, Sleepless in Seattle, City of Angels, uh, The Woman. Those are some bangers right there. Like You can't. You can't even really knock her for the work that she's no, done. No, not at all. She's she's sort of etched her, her, you know, to to uh, to Jennifer Aniston's credit. You know, she's got it somewhat yeah. right, I guess. Yeah. What was the movie she did with um, uh, Harrison Ford? Where I don't know. I don't know this movie. They had like they were in the plane crash and they got trapped in like the jungle for like a few days. Oh, was this? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think that was Meg Ryan. That that was uh, Romancing the Stone. Is that what that no, was? Romancing the Stone was um, uh, Richard Gere. Is that? No, no, I don't, I don't know. Wasn't that? Who's married to Catherine Zeta Jones? Oh, D uh, Douglas Kurt Douglas or Michael uh, Douglas? Kurt, Michael Douglas. Yeah, wasn't that him? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, she's got some bangers under her belt. Shout out to you, Meg Ryan. Uh, not in the Jennifer Aniston way. Jesus Christ! Yeah, sorry guys, it just yeah. knocked something over. I didn't know that was there. Uh, but anyway, what was it? <laughs> it was a it was an old bottle of um, rum chata. Which oh, why Jesus the Christ. fuck we yeah. ever even had? That. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. The movie I was thinking of with Woody Allen was Annie Hall. That's what I was thinking of. Annie um, Hall. Yeah, I've never saw that movie. Yeah, Annie Hall was uh, sort of the uh, the the grandfather to those sort of like the the rom coms, but it uh, it had Woody Allen as well as uh, Diane Keaton. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, and the movie with Meg Ryan and Harrison Ford was uh, Six Days Seven Nights. Yeah, came out in nineteen ninety eight. Wait, Six Days Seven Nights didn't it have somebody else in it that had? Uh... 
uh, that wasn't Meg Ryan, right? That was somebody else. No, that was Meg Ryan. Who else was in that? That was Harrison Ford and uh, and Meg Ryan. Huh. I thought somebody else was in that. Wasn't the, the woman who used to be like engaged with uh, Ellen or Six Days Seven Nights? You know what? That actually was not Meg Ryan. Yeah, that was uh, what's <laughs> that was her name? Anne Hetch. Yeah, Anne Hetch. Uh, that's yeah. She used to be romantically linked to uh, to Meg Ryan. Um, a word or not Meg Ryan? Um, uh, romantically linked to Ellen is what I meant to say. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm getting that wrong too, which is totally possible. All right, let's fucking move yeah, on. Here, all right. Like to- <laughs> all right uh, on Amazon Prime, we have All or Nothing CFB uh, season one, uh, as well as uh, Ted Bundy falling for a killer season one, and then on Netflix we have Veer Diaz uh, or Veer Das uh, for India, as well as uh, Alex Fernandez El Mejor uh, Comidante del Mundo. Uh, and then we have, I guess they're speaking a lot to our Spanish speaking brothers and sisters, uh, Ferres, uh, Inimas. Um, and then we have, uh, next in fashion, uh, night on earth, uh, omniscient, um, wait, am I saying that right? Help me out here. Omniscient. I don't know. Omniscient. I think, <laughs> I think I'm being stupid. Uh, then we have uh, Inori Love Wagon, uh, African Journey, like I said before, uh, The Stranger, 30 Seconds, uh, Bojack Horseman, Season 6, um, uh, Diablero, uh, Season 2, I Am a Killer, Season 2, uh, Luna Nira, uh, as well as Ragnarok, uh, which I was very confused about before. I actually read about what it was about. I thought it was something to do with Thor. Thor, but yeah. it, it doesn't. Um, and then we can't have name anything else. Ragnarok. I know, right? It's very confusing. You, <laughs> you want your project? Like, I know it's a. I know it's a word that existed before Thor Ragnarok, but it's, also it's no longer a word. Once it's a Thor movie, it's a Thor movie now. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, in sort of throwback picks, uh, we have uh, the uh, final cut. Uh, the final cut of the original Blade Runner, as well as Purple Rain coming out on Netflix. Purple uh, yeah. Rain, uh, Purple Rain. Um, and then um, we've got, uh, of course, uh, Adam Sandler's much uh, acclaimed film, uh, Uncut Gems, that's going to come out on Netflix uh, this particular week. So I'll definitely Uncut be, Gems is going to be on Gems. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the movies to see it no more. Yeah, just yeah, watch I, it from the from the crib. That's that's what that's the exact thought that With I had. My. Uh, Apple uh, motherfucking Crown Royal. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. That's it's, my that's my movie beverage. Fair enough. Yeah, it's America, so you can do what you want. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the perfect movie. Uh, nice glass of Apple Crown Royal with two or three cubes of ice. Yeah. Wh- why do you have to like? Why do you have to like? Go to like the different voice when you said that. It was like a uh, because this voice is very white type of voice. No, very very white's deeper. Mm. Midnight. <laughs> Midnight Thunder. That's very what I went to uh, a commercial. I'm going to sell you something, voice. A nice glass of <laughs> Apple Crown Royal, two cubes of ice. Enjoy yourself. Right? Fair enough. That movie, That's um, that voice is like, ah, fuck. I'll buy whatever you're selling me. Um, okay, let, let's jump in.